Welcome to Changdeokgung Palace. I'll be your guide for today. My name is Junie Lee. My name is Bonnie. Changdeokgung Palace is in harmony with its natural surroundings. The palace is well known for its beautiful rare garden, Huwon Garden, or Secret Garden. This is one of the reasons why Changdeokgung Palace was designated World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997. Today, we'll discover 10 treasures you may see at Changdeokgung Palace. That's Dunhua Moon Gate. That's the main and the south gate of Changdeokgung Palace. The name Tunhua means the king who governs with a warm heart and edifies people with virtues. Changdeokgung Palace can be divided into five areas. Kwarne Gaksa Government Office Quarters, and Governing Court, and Royal Residential Court, Naksanje Area, and Huon Garden. This is Kwarne Gaksa Government Office Quarters. This Kyuzanga was a royal archive and a think tank. It was established by the 22nd King Tongjo, who led the Renaissance of Joseon. King Tongjo sent talented men to Kyuzanga Kao, who became his new thinking power as his political partners. Korone Gaksa is consisted of many buildings, so it's like a maze. It's a good place to stroll where you can appreciate the beautiful lines of the roofs. This is Yakbang. Yakbang was a royal pharmacy and a clinic. Royal physicians took care of the royal family's health condition. They visited the king every five days for the medical checkup. Mm. And of course when he felt bad. This is Kumtongyo Bridge, a forbidden bridge. It's the oldest remaining stone bridge in Seoul. This bridge was built in the early 15th century. As you can see, stone statues of legendary animals are guarding the palace. Can you see that tortoise? Its name is Hyunmu, the black tortoise. It is facing north because it's the guardian of the north. That's in Jongjeon Hall. Injangjeon Hall was the main throne hall of Changdeokgung Palace. Mm -hmm. The name Injang means benevolent governance. So it was a venue for important state events such as coronation ceremonies, royal weddings, and visit greeting foreign envoys. Mm -hmm. You can see the Pungyeok rank stones on both sides. They mark the place of the government officials in order of their rank. Here are three lanes called Sambo. The middle one was for the king. Shall we walk on the king's lane? And this is royal staircase. Tapdo, a pair of phoenix, a symbol of the king, is engraved on the staircase. Uh, so this metal bucket is called Tumu. Tumu was a device to prevent fire. Mm. Shall we take a look inside? Since this is the throne hall, you can see the throne and the Iroarobongdo screen behind the throne. Is it the painting with the mountains? Yes. And these are the common features of Kunjangjeon of Gyeongbokgung Palace and this Injangjeon Hall. But there are huge differences between them. Can you tell me the differences or odd things do you see here? Um, it sounds very Western. Yes, that's right. It features a western style interior. The Sinjangjeon Hall was remodeled in 1907 in the reign of Sunjong, the last emperor. There are chandeliers with light bulbs. Just so you know, Joseon lit up the first light bulb in 1887, earlier than that of China or Japan. That was just eight years after Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. The light bulb shows a passion for modernization. Yellow or gold color was a symbol of emperors, so it was exclusively used by the Chinese emperors. But this Injangjeon Hall was remodeled in the Taehan Empire era, so you can see the gold colored curtains, drapes, and this room. Now we are heading to Seonjeongjeon Hall. Seonjeongjeon Hall was the king's council hall. Shall we take a look inside? 
It was a venue for a daily morning audience and other state events. This is very unique structure. Have you seen this kind of corridor today? Not really. It's called Cheollang, a passage for the spirit. It was added later. In the late Joseon Dynasty, the Sanjongjeon Hall was used as a royal spirit tablet hall. When a king or queen passed away, his or her spirit tablet was kept here during the three-year mourning period or more, and then it was moved into Chongnyo, the state shrine. What makes Sanjongjeon Hall so special is the roof. Sanjongjeon Hall is the only remaining building that has blue glazed roof tiles. I'll take you to the best photo spot where you can fully appreciate the roof. It shines like a jewel in the sun. Oh, I think I should Instagram it. This is Hijongdang Hall, which was the king's quarters. The facade that you see is the entrance. And the main Hijongdang building is over there beyond the entrance. Both interior and exterior of Hijongdang Hall were remodeled into Western style. For example, it has a car accessible curved entrance for easy access to the main building. This was for Emperor Sun Zhong, the last king of the Joseon dynasty. His vehicle was a Cadillac. They had a car? Yes. The royals had their own limo since early 1900s. That cafe over there, that used to be a Tagu, the royal garage. If you want, you can see the fancy royal vehicles Cadillac and Daimler at National Palace Museum of Korea. Daejojeon Hall was the queen's living quarter. The name Daejo means achieving a great work. Great what? Can you guess? Great like having a son? Yes, having a healthy wise prince. Shall we take a look inside? There is a chair ornamented with a mother of pearl. It has a bedroom with a bed and bathroom with a bathtub and a toilet. Daejo John has a sad history. This is Hungbokkeun Hall, an annexed building of Daejo John Hall. Hungbok means bring good luck. But what actually happened here was a tragedy. The last cabinet meeting was held in Hungbokkeun Hall in 1910, and the last emperor Sun Zhong passed away here in 1926. We are now at Naksonje. The 24th King Hun Zhong built Naksonje as his study and residence. As you see, Naksonje doesn't have Tanchong patterns, multicolored paintwork. The building features a simple color combination, wood, charcoal gray, and ivory. Simple yet elegant. What's more, there is no same pattern of the frames of the doors. They are all different. It was occupied up to recently until 1989. Wow. It was home to uh, the last empress, Sun Zhang Hyo, and Go Zhong's daughter, Princess Tok Kei, and Go Zhong's son, Emperor Crown Prince U Min, and his wife, Lady Li Pangda. Changdeokgung Palace shows both natural beauty of the traditional palace and tragic ending of the Joseon Dynasty. Mm, so, how was your Changdeokgung Palace tour? It was very good. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yes. I'm glad to hear that. So, um, I was your tour guide, Jenny Lee. My name is Bonin. So, thank you for watching the video and see you at the next palace. See you, bye bye.